am Richik Majumdar. I am currently 27 years old and uh, currently pursuing M-Tech uh, in signal processing, communication and networks. And before joining this program, I have completed my uh, B-Tech in mechanical engineering and like I passed out in the year of 2019. And so I filled up this form and I got my name enlisted over there. I got the email confirmation on the very uh, same day evening. So I, like I was like overwhelmed. I thought of like, okay, so this is the first chance to go to the IIT Madras. So like, actually, I I was not oh, like believing that. Yeah, I got this chance to go to the campus. So uh, as soon as I got that confirmation mail, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so as soon as I reached, I was like, oh, this is the deep, my dream come true moment. And. Uh, as, uh, after I reached there, I uh, got met a lot of professors. I met uh, Andrew, sir. That was one of those moments which I was uh, like uh, expecting at that point of time. And like, I was like, like filled with joy. So as soon as I came to know that this program is launched by IIT Madras, and it is uh, like a program which is directly being uh, launched by IIT Madras without any third party being involved. I was quite interested at that point of time. And I, I, if I thought that yeah this is the right thing for me so at that point of time i was just uh, done with my btech degree so i enrolled on the very same day when i saw this uh, like that was my final decision and then it, it the qualifiers came and like i enrolled for this program and it, it was actually a very good decision that i uh, took at that point of time i was not in a, like a student of a programming background so i i struggled a lot and uh, once i was done with this ct course I figured it out that this Python course, which we had after uh, doing the CT is quite helpful to me. Like these guys were so nice. I couldn't like one of them was Lalit Kumar, uh, Srinivasan sir, uh, Puneet sir, and quite a lot of other students as well. So I actually love the like, even though many uh, student learners are there who are like uh, elder than me, but their eagerness to learn uh, quite a lot or quite a lot of domains, even though if they are from some other fields, they are willing to uh, learn something else. Or it was uh, quite interesting, I will say, because uh, in the mechanical engineering, I like we used to get a lot of mechanical stuffs, which were quite related to the mathematical or mathematical equations and all these things, which is very common in this data science domain as well and in the electrical domain as well. The basics are like the mathematics, uh, the linear algebra. Uh, the probabilistic parts, which are like, I guess, common to almost all the branches of engineering. So I didn't uh, quite face a lot of difficulties while understanding the basics of uh, the subjects. Just started this BS program. But yeah, coming to the electrical engineering domain, if I say about the core subjects of the uh, electrical engineering, that uh, that might be a bit difficult for me to pick up. But I uh, like uh, preferably choose uh, this uh, data science domain in the electrical branch rl in communications implementing data science or like the machine learning or the dl algorithms in the electrical field or the electrical engineering domain so in that regards it's not that kind of uh, difficulty which i am facing right now so it's quite smooth for me i'll like say that it was a very easy paper it was really a very easy paper given that someone did this bs in data science not the bs in data science as well i will say if someone has done well in his uh, diploma and the foundationals of uh, data science he will do quite like he'll score a good number in this uh, gate most valuable and interesting insight that i observed there is like while i was inside the class uh, i was a student in bs a few other students were from uh, mtech a few from PhD, even from the uh, various departments, uh, other branches, like someone from electrical, someone from mechanical, and the BTEC students are there as well. So uh, this collaborative approach is what I found very interesting. I feel like we should uh, do continuous learning, like uh, once the semester is starting, or even uh, if, if the semester is already, like if you are already done with this term thing, and we are yet to register for the next term, we have all the contents ready in the YouTube. So I know what to, like uh, before registering for the upcoming term, 
I am aware that these are the courses that are uh, ready for the next term or that are available for the next term. So I can pick it up from the YouTube and start learning it. I liked Andrew Sir's stats to course quite a lot. In the degree level, I will uh, say deep learning, uh, which uh, was one of my favorite courses. And another was LLM. So there are three things. The first time I will, like reached IIT Madras campus, that was the first thing. The second one was paradox for the very first time. And the third one is the e-culturals. These are the more, like memorable moments. Uh, while we took the certificate uh, right in front of uh, the professors and the director of IIT Madras and right in front everybody in paradox, that was also a moment of joy for me.